friends. Oh, my clothes are wet because I wash my face. I just came back from Ikea and then, yeah. You know when you've come back and you've like been outside where like bushes and stuff are? I just felt a bit bleh. So I washed my face and I got it all over myself. And I'm just gonna cream my hands because my hands are dry. I'm in my son's room. I'm in my son's room. Cause I went, okay, so imagine, um, Okay, oh, okay, I'm back guys. I'm back from an amazing holiday. And I'm, I wanted to vlog the whole holiday, yeah? And really like, oh, and share and uh. But you know when you're like, just enjoying? And sometimes you don't want to film, you just want to enjoy. And to be honest, I did the same thing every single day, which was wake up, look as bummy as bummy can be. Like, and go down to the pool in a shirt, like in a big shirt, you'll see it in the vlog, so you've probably seen it already, in a big shirt. And um, actually, maybe that's better. You're gonna see it now, okay? So it's like the introduction to the vlog. So I went to Ibiza and I went for, well, I was supposed to go for four nights, but you'll see, I missed my flight. So four days and three nights, but I missed my flight. So it ended up being basically three days, three nights. Um, yeah, so, um, it was amazing it was boiling hot it was like i don't know what it would be in like american times but i know in english it would be like 26 degrees but hot 26 so feeling like 30 like enough to say that i never had to go downstairs it wasn't uncomfortable you know like it was beautiful heat where like it's boiling you don't need to wear like you could just wear a bikini you can add hand but it's not like um too unbearably hot that you just want to run to the room every second like i'd go downstairs from about i go for breakfast at about 10 and then i'd go by the pool by about 11 and i'd stay there until about five some days i'll go back to my room and just have a nap but it was just so relaxing listen to podcasts um yeah but i just didn't you know like some holidays are like look i went by myself it was my first solo holiday i've never been on a solo holiday before but i just needed it and you know like some holidays are like if you go with a partner if you go with a friend like you're dressing up you're taking pictures like there was only like one night where i did my makeup and apart from that i just my hair was even like a little fro like a baby biff <laughs> it was a baby biff so like yeah um but yeah go and go and watch my holiday a bit and then when you come back, yeah, we'll talk, because I'm back now. Okay, so see you in a second. Hey guys. Minute wine comes. Um, so, I have, my flight is delayed by one hour. So I'm sitting here waiting. Um, this morning, getting to the airport. My flight was at 5.35. I got here at quarter past four, which I know was silly, because I needed to be at, no, I didn't know it was silly at the time, because I needed to be at the gate for 5.05, but never in my life, and I've traveled quite to a few places, have I gone to um, security and it taken that long for me to get through. And then my bag was stuck. You know when they do want to look for your bag? And I had I had two bags that they wanted to look through. So, um, but then there was like 10 people in front of me, 12 people in front of me. And I said my flight's at 5.05 .05, and they were like, someone checked and said, no, your flight's at 5.15. Your gate closes at 5.15, so you'll be fine. Anyway, so when I've got out, I'm even, I'm even walking because I'm like, oh, I've got a whole, 10 minutes until my gate closes like i know that's cutting it fine but the gate was right there so when i got to the gate it was 5 10 and the gate was closed so i missed my flight i was devastated then i saw something on instagram and it was like you choose how you want to respond to something and i was like it's so true that like, it's your choice how you want to respond to a situation so i just chose that i'm not gonna let this get me down my house is 15 minutes away Gatwick Airport so I just went home 
I was so tired anyway, I didn't sleep that night. So I went home and I slept. I woke up feeling refreshed and I went again. And this time, so much less anxious because I knew what I was supposed to be doing. You guys know I've got ADHD, so sometimes it is overwhelming for me trying to, try to organise things. So when um, I got to the... Uh, what's it called? By the way, I feel like they were just being really extra when I was coming for security. Like, I don't know, the man just had like a chip on his shoulder. I could just tell, like, he was like, oh, like, he made me throw away like half of the stuff in the seafood bag. I had my own seafood bag that closes, by the way. I've never had any issues with that before. I always use those bags um, just so that I can pack a few more things in there. This time it was an issue. He made me throw away half of the things that it needs to fit in this bag and close. So I fit it all in the bag and closed it. And um, yeah, that was just a bit like, yeah. So I made it all fit in the bag and closed it. And then yeah, so when I was coming back, I added a few more things and kind of like arranged the bag and closed it. There was no issue this time, nothing. Even though there was an issue with both bags the last time, even though I did the exact same thing. Um, yeah, but there was no issue with nothing. Got through within 10 minutes, I think, even maybe less. And now my third is delayed by an hour. So I'm just sitting here and I thought I'd update you guys because I know you would have seen me showing Gatwick Airport and thinking, oh, Cass going on holiday. But yeah, unfortunately, that's what happened. Also, um, what was I going to say? I'm going on a known trip. I'm going on a solo trip. My first solo trip. My first solo trip. Um, and I'm so excited, but clear, like I've missed a day, basically. Not a day, but yeah. Because I would have got there at 9am. And now I'm going to get there at 10am. 10pm. So, do you get it? I've missed like the whole day, which is jarring. Because I wanted to just chill. Um... I wanted to just chill, but I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, it'll be fine. So I'm going to go there. I'll chill in the hotel. I might go get myself a drink. And then, yeah, it is what it is. So I'll see you guys soon. The room. It's quite small. This is the shower. Good morning. <laughs> I'm in my hotel. It's my first day. Let me step back a bit so you can see me. I'm just wearing like this, you know, like what is this? Like a big shirt. I got it from Zara years ago. And it makes me look really wide, but I really don't care. <laughs> because I'm big. Not okay. Because I'm I've got big boobs and I've got big hips. You know that like, these things don't show your waist. So maybe I should get it actually um, tailored. Do you get it? So it like gives me a bit more waist. Mm, that's a thought. If I get it tailored, it will give me a little bit more waist. Do you get it? Because it's just quite square. But I just love it. When I'm in, on holiday, even though I have actually ordered some holiday, but when I'm on holiday, I like something that, um, what's the word? You know when you're just going down to the... What I always get wrong is, you know when you're just going down for breakfast and you don't have like... What's the word? Um, you're going down for breakfast and then I've just got outfits. Do you get it? Like outfits that I'll wear in the day. Not like, oh, just go down for breakfast and go to the pool outfit. So now I'm just going to go for breakfast and then I'm going to go and sit at the pool for come at some hours and figure out what I want to do today. Um, I don't know what there is to do today. It might just be a chill day. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow I might try and find... I really want to go on a boat trip. I keep saying that. Um, this is... I'm using, by the way, the small size. Um, Fenty skin. Can you see? Is it allowing you to see it? There it is. Fenty skin. The Hydro Visa one. SPF 30. That's what I'm using today on my skin and then I bought this new so I've been looking for the Dior lip oil everywhere can't find it so I bought this 
Come in. Yeah, I bought this slip oil and it's actually really good. Um, I've also got one second. My lips are quite delicate, so I bought this. My lips are quite delicate. It's Nivea. Um, SPF 30 because my lips are quite delicate and every time I go away or even this summer because it was hot I find that my lips get really dry and get high pigmentation so they get like black bits from the fact that I'm in the sun and maybe because I'm not drinking enough water so I put a layer of that on because SPF and then a layer of the lip on look wait look at the um I'll show you the brush. But it's not picking it up. Actually, I'm trying to show you the brush, like the the way it's shaped. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna step back. Mmm. Mm. It's actually really lasting. The only thing is, I'll say, with me, I don't really like to feel like. Do you know, like I feel like more expensive lip gloss. It just feels like smooth on your lip I feel like sometimes it's the cheaper ones it can feel like you've got like a film over your lips and I don't really like that feeling but yeah I'm not doing anything fancy I don't know about you do you guys put on makeup when you're going to just sit by the pool because I don't and sometimes I'm like should I like spruce up a bit um my hair so with my hair recently, what I've been doing is nothing. <laughs> no, so with my hair, I've been putting a lot of gel in it. And I found, I need moisturiser by the way, man, but I don't have it, I didn't bring any. I've been putting a lot of gel in my hair, but I found that the gel has really um, started to, like my hair just feels dry, I've been getting single strand knots, and I'm like, my hair's short, I don't need this trouble. So what I've done, I'm just gonna leave the same edges from earlier. Or last night, because they're not really that bad. So what I've done is um, today, well, what I did, I didn't put any gel. So this is just like moisturizer and my hair. So I look like a little boy. But, but we moved my honeys. Um, some of the things I do have, okay, this. Love this stuff. Olaplex oil for my hair. Um, I use other oil as well. This is just usually a finishing oil. So like if I put gel and stuff in my hair and then like, you know, it goes a bit crispy. I'll just put this in the circular motions. I'll probably do a video on how I'd style my TWA when I use gel and stuff. Cause, um, yeah, but I've realised with my hair, it likes to be stretched. Like, I get the gel stuff, like when it's like short and you put the gel in, but my hair really likes to be stretched. It doesn't like to like kink up on itself because then it gets like knotty and stuff. And then, someone really special to me bought me this actually. Do you see here? It's Miss Dior. I love it because it's a roller ball so I just think it's perfect for holiday because sometimes you don't want to like I don't know you know you just want to hmm, just smell hmm, fresh I love it and it's so sweet so we use that don't forget the, uh, don't forget this I was using natural deodorant guys I don't know why I'm giving all these brands. Anyway, I was using natural deodorant, but the natural deodorant, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't wanna say this here, but I feel like it's making me smell more. I didn't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Like, on a normal day, like maybe a winter day, I think it's fine, but on a hot summer's day as we've been having, as we were having, even though they said I heard that there's gonna be an Indian something, but this might not come out by then because what I should have done was brought my laptop so that I can edit every day, but I didn't. So this will be out next week. And the video hasn't been out this week because I was coming on holiday. Um, but yeah, so I am trying to be consistent, guys. Can you see? Have you realized? But yeah, let me go down to the pool now. 
um, got that for breakfast. I'll probably show you guys anyway. And um, yeah, see you later. As we already have some beautiful weather going on, the sun is already shining on me. Grateful much. Wow. <laughs> Feels like a summer's day again. Oh, I love winter sun. I need to do winter sun more often. It's the best sun. But yeah, I'm gonna go down in a sec and just sit, chill, and relax, and read. <laughs> Champagne cup. Oh, I got the most random breakfast today. I need to show you actually. Wait. So random, right? Um, I got eggs with mushroom and what's this? Eggs with mushroom and cheese and um, peppers. I don't, I don't know what sausage this is. I don't really like it. I'm honest. I'm a little potato thing. Really. I like the, um, I like the egg. I've got pancake and bread. Just like that air. Hmm. Come up to the rooftop today. Which is a bit different. I'll show you guys in a sec. <sighs> Look. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that holiday piece, darlings? Um, how was it? Um, did you enjoy looking at me, looking mummy? But yeah, so I'm gonna be vlogging. And I know I always say I wanna vlog. And I think it's the easiest thing for me to do than sit down videos. And right now, if I'm honest, I spoke about like my reasoning of breaking up with my ex. I then went on to like, what were some of the situations that I had in my relationship? hoping to be able to help a few people and like what I dealt with with my breakup. And now, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so now I just wanna go to like vlogging because I think my personality, the person I am is more of like a vlogger. And I will do, still do sit down videos, like get ready with me's and stuff like that. But I just think, yeah man, I know you lot are probably just wanting to be nosy and have a look in my life. Oh, let me see if you can see my fit today. <laughs> It's like, this is like a mummy. No, you can't, wait. Let me bring down the camera a bit. All right, this is like a mummy fit. Can you see? This is like my school run fit. So I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt. How I usually wear this t-shirt is like, like this, if that makes sense, with like these pants. But because, like I said, it's a bummy mummy day, it's just a t-shirt from Zara. I like the fact that it's got like long sleeves. Not showing sure, bingo wings, um, yeah. And then I wear, I'm wearing cargos. I wear it with trainers, a hat, a jacket, and we're good to go, baby. Let me bring you back up to me, and we're good to go. But um, yeah, I just feel like vlogging is more my style. I just need to do it. Um, and the way, why I say that is because, you know, like, all right, put, bringing people into your life, yeah. Well, I brought people into my life, yeah, when I got married. Yeah, I brought people in. And I guess you, I was watching someone today. Oh, what is her name? Because I love her. One second, let me find out her name. She vlogs. Arnell, yeah. She's got a twin. I don't know if you don't know her. Arnell Armon. Like, I like watching her. And one thing she said is, like, 
people always like judge you and they have an opinion on your life like even that's another reason why the sit down videos are like i'm like all right talk about my life is a lot because it's still sensitive if that makes sense so when people comment stuff like oh this just sounds like the beginning of a marriage to me you probably need the people to talk to you probably like okay like now what now you've said that now what like my marriage has broken up i'm no longer with the person we're not getting back together we've both moved on now what do you get it? it's been over two years like i it's like it's almost like it gives me anxiety because you're saying things that um some things are true and some things are just not true. Do you get it? Like, I, like the reality is, even though it may seem just like the beginning of a marriage for some people and the normal things that people go through, the reality is my ex was on the spectrum. The reality is I have ADHD. So whether or not it sounds like, seems like, feels like you think you know it or you think you don't know it, I lived through it. And even me explaining on a video to camera about the father of my child remember i'm never ever 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 going to bash him i'm never ever ever going to make it seem like um like aired certain things out on the internet i'm just not do you get what i mean and not to say that he's done anything that needs to be bashed about but i'm just saying remember you're getting a snapshot do you get it like we're giving you a snapshot. So even when we were vlogging, when we were whatever, it's a snapshot. When people say, oh, it wasn't real. like so It's not about real. It is real. I don't fake it. I don't come in the camera. Maybe some people do, but I don't come on the camera and pretend. Like, this is not pretend. This is me. This is Cass. As, and I'm really quite... I'm an open book. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Do you get what I mean? Which makes it even harder. Because if, it, if maybe if I was faking it, it'd be easier to take the comments. But it's like, we showed you what we showed you. Of course, no one on the internet, I didn't turn on the camera when we was in having heated arguments. Of course, I didn't turn on the camera when we was having bad days like that. Do you get what I mean? I just didn't, because why would I? <laughs> like, not because I'm hiding something, like, it's just not what you record. And that's the annoying thing about social media. The annoying thing about social media is you can, in some way, express yourself and in some way show the good and the bad. But just know that it's always going to be a bit more good because nobody wants to just watch negative all the time. Do you understand? That's the reality. Um, but yeah, it's hard to talk about things and then people have a comment on things that are your life. Because this is not a, vid this is not a TV programme, this is not a film. That And sometimes I think when people are in the comments, they're just commenting on your life as if it's just a movie. But it's your real life, real life things that you're going through experiencing. And um, sometimes the opinions are a lot. Plus I have ADHD, which has, um, with my ADHD, I have emotional sensitivity with it as well. I think it's called RSD, I can't remember the name, but makes me very uh, sensitive to my emotions. I think people say, and don't get me wrong, I've built much, I've built a hard skin over the years just because of life, yeah. But it still is a lot. So yeah, sometimes when I say something, I know that, I'm gonna get a hundred opinions and I'm just like, I'd rather not have a hundred opinions. But I guess vlogging, of course, is still gonna give me your opinion. Obviously, like I want you to, I don't mind. But just sometimes, like, I guess that's what the scary part is, is that vlogging is more of my life. And it's almost like that part that I did share before scared me so much. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna share again because it's almost like you can't grow, you can't change and you can't evolve. Do you get what I mean? Like, of course, you don't want to grow from a marriage, grow apart from a marriage, but things happen, innit? Like, you like, you guys are living real lives. You know things happen. You know how lives go. You know, like, you could be in a job today, say you love it, and then tomorrow you hate. That's just life. Do you get what I mean? It's not, oh, like, people, like, I even watched an author one time, and he was like, well, TJ, and he was saying that he wrote a book on something, like, whether it be marriage or something, and he was like, 10 years later not that the book's not good but he's learned so much so that's what i'm saying is it that now the book's not relevant because your life has changed no that was a part that is what a part of what you believed you thought and then you grow up you change you evolve and maybe certain things or statements or comments that you've made are not the same things that you think like now do you get what i mean like things i said even a year ago is not the same thing that i think now i'm in the studio 
because I'm going to show you like that and I'm vlogging, but I'm in a studio and um, I'm making songs, yeah, to do with just like, that's just the way of, like, my creative outlet, I feel like I'm a creative person, I always have been, yeah, so my outlet is like, stuff like this, like, I love sharing, I love talking, I love helping, I love to sing, I sing out my, what I'm going through, so it's about like, what, has happened in relationships that I've been in before but the cast now who has done a lot of therapy who's just been working on herself is not the same cast that wrote that song who was heartbroken sad thinking about all the relationships I've been in that wasn't the same person you get it but that's what I'm saying if you hold a person to that then they're never able to grow and I think yeah I think that's what we should do, you know? I said this channel's all about growing, growth, development. I feel like we should hold each other accountable to growth. That I don't expect you, I don't even expect you to have an opinion and then maybe next week you might come back and be like, you know what, Cass? Like, I've gone through da 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 Like, that's how I want the comments to be. I want the comments to be like, you come back and comment on your comment. Like, you know what, Cass? I kind of changed my mind on this because, yeah, I see things a little bit differently now. I've done this, I've done that. That's life. We're growing, we're changing, we're human. But yeah, so that's what scares me a bit, like, scares me to ever um share a relationship i'm in it scares me to share my child it scares me about a lot of things because i think people are so opinionated and that's scary sometimes but anyway today enough of that today i um went to ikea i'm gonna show you so i'm gonna show you my son's room kind of in a minute um i have cleaned up a bit so i bought a rug for him and I'm so happy. Like, actually, when I bought the rug, I was like, Cass, like, do you need a rug for his room? We do need a rug for his room. But, like, you know when you're trying to, like, with me, I'm trying to budget. I'm trying to get better um, with my finances. So, if you know any channels that, like, help with that, please. Like, ADHD friendly. Because, But, yeah, I'm trying to get better. Can you... Oh. Get out then. Um, I'm trying to get better with my finances, but bruh, it's hard. It really is hard. But you know, like when you like, I tidied his room yesterday, and I was like, oh, he like when I went. So basically, I was walking back from Lions Nursery, Lions Nursery, Lions School, and it's like about an nearly a two-hour walk, hour and forty-five minutes, I'd say, maybe less sometimes, walk from his school. So I like doing that because that's like it clears my mind. It really helps me focus and. It's a form of exercise, obviously. I try to do 10K a day. Today, I've already done 12K, which is great. So by the end of the day, I probably will be on like 20, which is great, which is my cardio. And I'll probably try and get to the gym and do some strength training. I might even show you that. So, um, yeah, when I was walking back, I thought I was walking home, but I wasn't. <laughs> and I ended up by Ikea. So when I ended up by Ikea, um, I just thought, oh, let me go in there quick. But I was good. I was like, I'm not gonna, like, what's that thing where you like, like sometimes I'll go into Ikea and I'm like, yeah, I'm only gonna, like, I'm only going in there for cups. I'm only going in there for plates. And babe, babe, I would have spent a good 200 pound. I did, like, it's something that I used to do all the time. So I literally went in there and I didn't, what I was gonna get is he needed paper for his, what do you call this? His board, paper for his, like chalkboard it's like a chalkboard but it's got a paper bit and he needed more paper for it so i was like i wrote that down yesterday and i was like oh well i'm here now so i might as well just get it so i got it and this is the rug oh it's one more i'll show you in a sec actually and i'll show you his room a bit in a sec i don't know if this is gonna fit and i hope it does and i spilled oil on the floor yesterday and i was so angry okay um it's kind of big. Sorry. It is kind of big. So I don't know if it's going to fit in this area that I wanted it to fit in. Hmm. I'm going to have to ask you guys' opinion. No, it's too big. Oh, that was stupid, Cass. Because of how he's been shaped. All right, I want to show you. One sec. Actually, I can show you on here. I'm going to show you. Okay. So, his room's a bit messy right now. This 
because so this is the rug but it's not gonna fit is it that's his paper thing okay guys i think i fixed it all right <sighs> hello what do you think so i pull it under the bed a bit i think that's the best option i'm tired okay so uh, Gosh. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, mate? Am I getting off or something? Because why do I get so tired of doing nothing? Has anyone remarried? I like to hear positive stories because we just hear so much negative sometimes. So I do get when people are like, "Oh, Cassie, like." We thought she was going to be together forever. I'm like, so did I. But I do get it because it does make you feel like when you see couples like breaking up, even when I see celebrities, I'm a bit like, oh man, like, you are my hope. <laughs> All right, we put the paper on. Perfect. Oh, you can see. Yeah, put the paper on. And now, All right, come, 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 come. Coming, darlings. Can you see me? So I've got these. Like baskets. And I bought him some pens. Guys, if we see these pens anywhere but on this board, just know all the pens are going into the bin. I've told him, he drew on up like a heart shape on his wall already. But he was about three then. I'm hoping four-year-old him won't do that, even though he's just draw on my floor. But now, when he goes to draw, he's like, he'll be like to me, um, "Mummy, um, he'll say, on, only on, only on the paper, isn't it, mummy?" And I'm like, "Yep, yeah. yeah, lion, only on the paper." With my son's room, I was gonna show you lot properly, but I feel like I'm gonna make him show you, so I'll make him give you a tour of his room. And like you can get to see a full tour of my house. Mmm. Let me know. House tour, anyone? Do you want to see my house? I actually like my house. There's some stuff I still, loads of stuff that I still got to do, but I like my house. So let me know if you want a house tour. Because I'll give you that. You kind of saw it in one of my videos, the last video, at the back of my house. Like, my kitchen, living room, a bit. So let me know if you do want a tour of my house. And I'll show you. Um, but yeah. I feel like I should just end this vlog here, but I'm not, yeah, I think I should end it here because you're going to see the holiday stuff, you're going to see this, live back to school now, um, yeah, and, um, I will let you in, I feel like I will, to a certain extent I will, my private, private life, no, but, this stuff, definitely, um, and I do want you lot to meet Lion on the on camera. So that'll be next vlog. Next vlog, you can lock and meet Lion because he's the best. And he actually, the reason why as well is because he, before I wasn't sure if he's going to be like a child that likes cameras and stuff. But he loves it. He loves the camera. He loves to dance. He loves to sing. He is a character. And I want you to meet how much of a character he is because I love him so much. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're loving the vlog, tell me, Cass, do another one, and I'll do another one. This one might be a bit boring, but it's going to, like, I'm, I'm a good vlogger, and I'm always busy, and I'm doing 100 things. And sometimes I'm not doing 100 things. I'm not just in the house, but I'm still doing 100 things in the house. Because on the weekdays, I work from home, so. You know, can come on this journey with me. Like when I go places and do things and whatever and whatever. But it's the beginning of the week now. So the next vlog will be next week. And it will be the rest of the week. So. Bye.